I'm James. Today we're gonna to build our own four foot light diffusion frame. I got the idea based on Westcott's DP C47 light diffusion kit. Their kit is a four foot aluminum frame with Velcro on either side. So you could attach different types of cloth to cut and shape light. It's a fine piece of equipment with one caveat. It's $600. If you think $600 is too much money, you are right. You should not be paying 600 bucks for some aluminum tubes and cotton material. I was able to do this for around $300, and here's how. The links to all these materials are in the description below. Part list. Two eight-foot sections of aluminum tube, four straight quick-release connectors or snap connectors, four quick-release corner connectors, two rolls of one-inch wide adhesive-backed Velcro, two rolls of one-inch wide sew-on Velcro, power drill and rivet gun with rivets. You can pick up a rivet gun at Lowe's or Home Depot for about $15 and most include rivets. And of course, whatever fabric you want to attach to your frame. Silk, any type of muslin, bleached or unbleached. If you're trying to cut light, I recommend Commando Cloth or Duvetine. It's a heavy, dark fabric that's flame retardant and great at blocking light. Silver for bouncing light. Or if you don't want to make your own fabric, you could always pick up pre-made fabric on B&H or Amazon. But why would you want to do that? We're here to throw a bunch of crap together and not only make it work, we want to make it look amazing. Assembling all this material really isn't hard. It's pretty easy if you just take your time and follow the instructions. Next, let's jump over to EasyTube's website and review our order. We're gonna use two eight foot sections of aluminum tube. I chose black anodized aluminum because it looks professional, but hey, you don't have to. To make your tube compatible with their snap connectors, you're gonna need holes drilled and pieces cut. The fine people at EasyTube will do all of this for you. That way you're not sweeping up aluminum pieces everywhere. I went ahead and had 16 holes drilled and a total of six cuts made. That's three cuts per each eight foot section of tube. In the description, I write, I'm trying to build a four foot frame. Can you please cut me eight sections of tube, each measuring 22 and a half inches? And then include something like, I'm using four of your easy connectors, and then four of your corner easy connectors to build a perfect square out of your aluminum tube. They get the picture. After sorting out your tube, you're gonna need connectors. Add four corner quick release connectors. Add four straight connectors to your cart. Once your tubing and connector material arrive, you're gonna have to build the connectors. To do this, you press down the spring clip and you insert it into the plastic connector and then it snaps up. Snap! One thing to keep in mind, your corner pieces, you're gonna wanna make sure that the metal clips are facing outward on both sides. Before you start building your kit, go ahead and fit your aluminum frame to make sure all the parts fit well. If you notice some parts are a little tight, take some of that edge off with sandpaper. I recommend using 80 grit paper. Line your Velcro up to the aluminum tube, cut it to length, remove the adhesive back, lay the adhesive backed Velcro onto the tube and give that Velcro a firm press. You could definitely get by without using rivets, but over time the adhesive on the Velcro will fail so go ahead and just use some rivets. Get the rivets in there. If you're using rivets, the Velcro is not gonna fall off. You don't need that kind of stress. I'll be using a box of medium rivets and a 3 16 inch drill bit. So the rivet doesn't bump into one of your end connectors. You wanna drill a hole that's maybe two and a half to three inches from the end of the tube. Feel free to explore the space with that drill bit. This way the rivet has an easier time getting into the tube. Insert the rivet into the gun. Press the rivet into the drilled hole. And squeeze hard. That's what she said. Depending on how much fun you're having, I recommend putting two or three rivets per side. But remember, this gets done to both the front and back side of the tube. So four to six rivets per tube. If you're feeling up to it, you could even put rivets on your connector. Let's talk fabric. Since we're making squares, measure out each side to be a little over 48 inches. Then cut or rip your fabric to length. Next, sew on the soft side Velcro to the edges of your fabric. If you'd like to make your own four x floppy, 
Go ahead and measure one side just a little over 48 inches and the other side to be just over eight feet or 96 inches. On half the duvetine, sew a 48 inch square of soft side Velcro. On the other side of the duvetine, in the corners, attach some hard side Velcro. On the opposite end, sew in some soft side Velcro. This way, when you fold the flag in half, it will remain closed. If you don't like sewing, but you still want this material handmade, go to a tailor, give them the cloth and material, and see how much they charge. I found a local tailor that will build these for about $5 per piece. So five times five is 25 bucks. $25, still a lot cheaper than ordering off b &H. Great, you have your fabrics and your framing material, but now you need something to hold everything together. If you like canvas bags and women's jeans, go to Land's End and pick up this bag for 38 bucks. On the website, click extra large. While you're at it, spring for the zip top option. You know what, treat yourself. Zip top. This bag has enough room for your fabrics, tube, connectors, spring clamps, and anything else you'd like to add. Quick disclaimer, if you buy the bag on Land's End, you will get a lot of spam emails about women's jeans. So be warned, that's a thing. Now that your frame's built, go ahead and take it for a spin. You can hold silk, grid cloth, muslin, bleached muslin, duvetine, quarter grid, a baby, half grid. You get it, it holds fabric. This thing just holds fabric, it holds a lot of cloth. So there it is, your very own four foot light diffusion kit.